I call myself the Brisbane International Game Developers Association Chapter Auntie. Uh, in theory, I'm actually the coordinator, but coordinator seems like such a formal word for the kind of things that we do with the um, community here. It's like this place where philosophy and design and uh, making stuff all sit down for a beer and produce these absolutely amazing items. The one that actually came over and said, hello, I'm a game, and I do something very funky and very special that you might really want to kind of look at was um, actually Lemmings. You're engaged with these funny little tiny characters that blob around the screen, and you've got to save as many as you can, and actually one of the most fun things was to blow them up because when you blew up the original lemmings, they kind of put their hands on their heads like this and they go do, 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 boom, before you nuke the whole level. And it was this extraordinary moment where you kind of thought, whoa, this isn't just uh, an interface. This little interface has character in it and talks back to you. I have this completely extraordinary memory of being a very, very small child, by the way, thank you, and being shown a terminal at Manchester University. It could even have been Baby, which is quite a famous Manchester computer. And it was probably the original tic-tac-toe running on it. The first thing you, you try and teach a, a, a designer is that they must be inspired by everything. You cannot be a designer if you only play games. You need to engage with all other forms of contemporary media. You need to watch movies, you need to read books, you need to uh, look around you at the world you occupy. Games can encapsulate all of those questions that philosophers ask about the nature of life and being. And so you actually need to read philosophy and understand philosophy in order to make a work that will then engender an experience for others. The games community in Queensland is fabulous. It's about the community, it's about sitting down and chatting and about supporting each other. We want to see others coming in. There's this just delightful, delightful supportive atmosphere that happens around games and obviously for me around the Brisbane Games community. We have this fabulous, fabulous opportunity space. We've got the rise of the indie sector. Lots and lots of passionate, uh, inspired people who all want to be in this game space. They're like artists. It's what they want to do. It's what, it's what they can do. It's what they're going to do. And it's what you can't stop them doing, most importantly. My advice to aspiring game developers and designers is really enjoy your passion. Go for it. Don't, don't concern yourself with uh, anything other than the idea and make it happen. If I could pick one talent or attribute that I don't already have, it's got to be time travel. So easy. There are so many beautiful games out there. I do not have time to play them. If I could kind of... If I could just be a time lord just about playing games and, you know... Uh, have that time to sit down and play all of the extraordinary works that come out all the time, that would be very cool.